what's up guys we're back with another video and a winter wonderland um there's a new setup so if my focus like fucks up give me time to work it out okay yeah so uh we're back or whatever with some new some new thoughts and feelings again and obviously i'm not coming on here without having done this myself you know how i roll around here anyway let me do my intro welcome back to another video if you are new here my name is sammy and we are the mermaid gang this is where you can come and suspend your disbelief i am your favorite youtuber and your favorite manifestation coach so if you would like for me to help you dissolve whatever's between you and your manifestation go ahead and um Sign up for some coaching with me below in the description box. If you click the little arrow down below my video, um, the link to my Mermaid Gang website is there and my website. You can get coaching with me or any of my coaches or join the VIP group where we do challenges and lives all month long, every single month. And I already know, I already know someone's gonna ask about my lips. So, you know I got you guys. Lip liner, this is important to get this color. The lip liner is NYX Cold Brew. And the lips, man, okay. This is Jaclyn Cosmetics. Her holiday collection, she came out with these lip lacquers. And this is in the shade Cookies. When I tell you this is the best fucking lip product I have ever used. And I went back and ordered two more times to make sure that I if I run out of cookies, her holiday color that I have a backup because this shit is so pretty and so good. And even though it looks glossy and sticky, it's not. And I eat and drink and it doesn't wear off. And it's just, look at the color. Look at the fucking color. Anyway, y'all didn't come here for makeup. Y'all came here to see what the fuck is going on in the title, right? Because, I mean, that kind of title is just bound to trigger someone or really confuse someone mostly trigger the people who live and breathe neville but you know it wouldn't be me if i didn't come on here pissing some people off all right so let's get into the pissing people off part actually i'm gonna be honest the title is true mostly but it's not in the way that you think. It's n I didn't come here to shit on Neville is what I'm saying. So like don't cry about it. Um, I actually came here to tell you that uh, even though I've kind of said it before. We all know Neville's not the end all be all to manifestation right? Okay. But really what this video is about is uh, that you create your own rules. And I don't mean in the sense that we've previously talked about. I don't mean... Like, you mostly create your rules, but we still have, like, rules of manifestation that, like, Neville taught, for one thing. We're not even going to get into the rules that other teachers have tried to put on everyone. But we're just going to discuss Neville's rules, because in my opinion, they're the most lenient ones. But they're still rules, and we don't like rules. And I had an epiphany. I know. I know. We've still been limited here on even on this channel and I'm so sorry for this I am so sorry for this that it took me this long to have this epiphany, but remember I'm still on my journey too, okay? It occurred to me That We literally create our own rules and it also occurred to me that Neville and his rules that he taught such as uh, Your negative thoughts manifest so watch your thoughts which I've been preaching that to you and I apologize, but today's gonna free you if it stressed you out. And I'm sorry for that. I still don't want you out here thinking negatively because that just sucks, but I'm, just, I'm, I'm gonna free you today, okay? Just follow me, follow how my brain works, okay? Um, negative thoughts manifesting. Um, a, a big thing you guys worry about is the amount of time that something is going to take. Oh my God, I didn't even turn on my shit. Hold on. 
fold. Okay, now that we have really set the tone for this video, <sighs> me being the light of your life at all. <laughs> Just kidding, not really. Um, yeah, see, remember how he used to talk about, and this used to scare me too, especially when I was like a newbie at this. It used to scare me when he would say, there's like a burp, like, like it's planting a seed or like a gestation period where sometimes it could take a couple of days, sometimes it could take months, sometimes it might take years, but just persist and it will manifest. No thanks. Mm. I don't want to do that. I don't want to wait that long. Notice the inconsistencies in people's success stories, okay? One person might say that they manifested in two weeks and then I'll literally have someone write me and be like, why have I been persisting for this long and I see this success story and they got their SP in two weeks or they got their money in two weeks and I've been persisting for six months or a year or sometimes longer. And before I would have said, well, you probably have a lot of resistance or there's something missing, you know, but I'm going to tell you how to skip all that and what the real key is. And I can't believe I missed this for so long. The real key is because person A had an assumption that their things or this particular thing was easy or that they manifest quickly. Person B assumes that this is hard and they assume that maybe they have an assumption that other people get what they want and I don't. Or they may have an assumption that manifestation takes a long time. Maybe they read a success story one time that said, oh, my manifestation took two years, but I got it. And that impressed and it made them believe that or take on that assumption. So what we're going to talk about today is how to set our own rules. And the fact that we can set our own rules. We can decide that we can manifest really fast. We can decide that manifesting is very easy for us. We can decide that there is no long unfolding process we can decide that our negative thoughts absolutely do not manifest they cannot manifest it's just not possible it's not a thing you can accept or reject any assumption this is where i'm talking about neville neville was one man and just because he is not here anymore doesn't mean he's not you pushed out whatever you assume is true are the lessons the lectures the books and shit that you're going to find from him okay which explains a lot more inconsistencies in his teachings but another thing is he was someone who created his own rules and he manifested and operated by those rules maybe he didn't really fully grasp the fact that he was in charge of the rules but we are we're, we create our own set of rules for how the law works for us, which again is why there's so many inconsistencies on what works for someone. Someone, one person could simply assume that their negative thoughts don't manifest. One person might assume that they have to really work hard to make sure that they don't or really work hard against it or continue flipping their thoughts to make sure that it doesn't. Everybody creates their own rules. That's why no one's story is the same. Mm -hmm. This person might think that the 55 by 5 is the end all the all and that is what works and that is it. And so it's going to work for them. But then this person over here, like me, would be like, that is so stupid. There's no way this works. It's not going to work. You decide what works. So pick something. Pick the thing that you want to do because just because you assume that the 55 by 5 does work, but maybe you don't want to have to do that to manifest. Assume something else works for you. That's why even in my jokes about <sighs> jumping states with water and drinking water, some people were like, hey, uh, it fucking worked for me. Well, yeah, because that was your assumption. So I'm not going to apologize for my jokes because they were funny. <laughs> But if drinking water is what you want to do to manifest, then sweet cheeks, you go drink that fucking water. And you assume that every drop of water that you drink manifests the wonderful things that you want in your life and does it really fucking fast. Because we literally create our own rules. What rules do you want to set for yourself? 
Here's some rules that I find appealing. I manifest so quickly and easily. Only my positive thoughts manifest. I only have positive thoughts. I am so good at manifesting. Um, affirming works very quickly for me. Um, visualizing works very quickly for me. What way and how fast do you want the law to work for you? The law works for you. You're the one who tells it what to do. Whatever you assume is going to work, is going to work. Whatever you assume is going to be true, is going to be true. And the way you get these assumptions, the way you assume what you assume is going to be true, is you can literally manifest the belief. You simply manifest the belief. Take on the belief, affirm the belief, fall asleep in the belief, just like we do everything else, that you are so good at manifesting um, only your positive thoughts manifest. You only have happy, wonderful thoughts like we talked about before. Pick these rules and affirm them the way you've already been doing, the way you already know how to manifest, the way you know works for you currently, and use that method to manifest these new assumptions about how the law works for you. Decide how you want the law to work for you, how quickly you want the law to work for you, how easily you want the law to work for you, and make it be true for you. Choose your rules, decide what you want it to be, decide how you want it to work, how fast, how easy, and your world is going to change. You are in total control of everything. Remember, the things that you think, the things that you're struggling with, change it to be easy. Assume that that is an easy thing to manifest for you, or that this person is the easiest thing for you to manifest. Things are only hard, complicated, or take a long time. For a lot of us, is because we took on Neville's rules, okay? Let's be honest. We took on the rules that you gotta watch your thoughts and your negative thoughts will manifest if you're not careful. We took on the rules that there's a whole unfolding process that takes a while or could take a while. We took on the beliefs and the rules of the, the transition and, and just all this stuff that he taught because Neville is like one of the biggest people that people can like, people go to for information, his his lectures and stuff and his books. But that, those were his rules. Don't take on anyone's rules that don't that you don't want. Not even mine. Even though they're 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 great. You don't even have to live by my rules. Choose your own rules. Choose your own way that you want to do things in your own way that you want the law to work for you. Manifestation, I still stand by this, is never one size fits all. That's why there's so many inconsistencies from person to person because each person already has their own set of assumptions and rules. But if you don't like the ones that you've already set for yourself, because maybe you've taken on these limiting rules from other teachers that you trusted which are fine they're not bad people that that was just their rules but you don't like that it some of it scares you or it's negatively impacted your life change it i'm telling you now you can change it i've done it i've tried it it's wonderful it's freeing it's so fucking freeing to realize that you literally create every rule even how the law works for you, how fast it works for you. Don't, unless you would, unless you like Neville's rules. I, I chose to let those go. And I realized that Neville was just one person creating his own rules. I didn't, I don't, I don't agree with those rules. I'm not going to take on those rules. I'm rejecting those rules. We have the option to accept or reject anything in our life. Anything in our mind. In our reality you can accept or reject anything um, the way he talked about like watching the news and things affecting negatively affecting your subconscious we can reject those things without having to not enjoy the the scrolling that we like to do or things like that or the movies that we like to watch we can reject those things if it makes you catch that feeling like he talked about like you see something negative in the paper and you catch a feeling and then you manifest more things that give you that feeling 
we can reject those things, those feelings. If we see something and it's like upsetting, you can say, no, I reject that. I don't accept that in my reality. Whatever you tell your subconscious, that's what's going to be true. So even though you just saw something that might be triggering or upsetting, you can say, no, I, I reject that. I, you can literally tell your subconscious what to do, okay? Tell your subconscious what to do. Tell your mind. Tell, tell your subconscious, like, no, that's not true in our reality. We reject that. That's fake. We, I don't accept that. that that's, that's not in my world. Watch it go away. Watch there be less and less things that trigger you. It's just going to be so freeing. Just try it. Start trying this. Start really thinking about this. Think about how you have set rules for yourself and so that's why things work the way they do in your life. And then start changing those things. Okay? Uh, I know y'all kind of like the long videos. And I'm already at 19 minutes. After I cut it down, it might be like 15 minutes. I don't know. But I hope you enjoyed it. Either way. Um... Yeah, what are your rules you want to set for yourself? Leave some things in the comments. Tell us what rules you're setting for yourself. And um, maybe you can give other people ideas and help them out so that they can think of like really good rules to set for themselves. I just want to free you guys from all these limits. Okay? Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And we out.